Coming up this morning on Daybreak, as the trial of Nicholas Godejan moves to its fourth day, all the details from a busy day three. And November is National Adoption Month. One organization is looking to raise awareness about the need in our community. Plus, the Branson area remembers a legendary country music performer. We'll have these stories and much more coming up this morning on Daybreak. Good morning, and thanks for starting your weekend off with us. It is Friday, November 16th. I'm Lauren Barnes. And I'm Joe Morano, and we're going to bring you a great Roy Clark story. He had such an impact, one that I, I wasn't even aware of on the Ozarks and just nationwide. Everyone was talking about that yesterday. Yeah, definitely. People down in Branson remember him and have some stories to tell. Mm -hmm. So we'll have that for you. Coming up in just a little bit, we, of course, need to get to your forecast first, though. And, Elisa, not bad as we exit for work this morning, right? Yeah, walk outside. It's like bathing suit weather, right? I, I honestly <laughs> thought, Almost, right? do I need the jacket? You need a jacket, well, but yeah, it didn't feel yeah. like you did. You need a jacket, but yes, definitely <laughs> warmer than it's been, not slushy, not snowy, so starting off of Friday, pretty good. Um, we do have temperatures in the 40s in Branson. The roads are dry out there this morning. It is 41 degrees in Branson with calm winds, and again, clear conditions out there. Clear skies across the Ozarks, not tracking any snow this morning, which is a change pretty much from the rest of the week that we've had. Temperatures are about 15 to 20 degrees warmer now than they were yesterday. So again, it's a little bit chilly, but not as bitter. 34 degrees in Springfield right now, 34 in Rolla. It's 42 in Ava. So on the coffee meter, we're about near average. Again, not terrible, a little bit chilly. You still need a jacket, but it's definitely been worse. Dry roads as we had through uh, the morning, and then we'll keep things dry through the evening too. So green light conditions for that commute forecast. Temperatures today, finally, at November seasonal averages, not terribly cold, 58 degrees by dismissal with mostly sunny skies. So we're tracking a nice weather uh, for today. Then we do have rain and snow returning, plus Thanksgiving makes it onto the seven-day forecast. A sneak peek at that in 10 minutes. We begin with some developing news now and a story we've been covering for you all week. The fourth and possibly final day of the Nicholas Godejohn murder trial is set to begin at 8.45 this morning. Dr. Robert Denny is a psychologist called by the prosecution and plans to take the stand and now be cross-examined by the defense this morning. It could likely be the last chapter in this trial. Whether a jury will convict Nicholas Godejohn of first-degree murder, meaning he contemplated and planned to kill Dee Dee, we still don't know. Yesterday, Gypsy Blanchard testified saying it was her who planned most of her mother's murder. I supplied the knife. Where did you get the knife? I stole it from Walmart. And why did you steal it from Walmart? Because I didn't see a knife that was sufficient enough in our own home. And at this point, there is still a chance for Nicholas Godejohn to testify. We'll keep you updated here on air throughout the day and online. Moving on now to some more local news. Springfield's Convoy of Hope is deploying several trucks with supplies to help those affected by wildfires in California. The nonprofit is sending water, food, cots, blankets, and hygiene kits for people in need. 63 people have died in what's become the deadliest wildfire in the state's history. At least 600 people are still unaccounted for, and thousands of homes have also been destroyed. More than 1,000 children in the state of Missouri are in need of a permanent family. And yesterday, Lutheran Family and Children's Services held an event in Springfield to raise awareness during this National Adoption Month. Guests were invited to take a tour of its office and learn what the organization has done for kids in care over the last 150 years. Those services include helping struggling pregnant women, parenting education, helping parents get licensed, and providing necessities for kids who come into the system. Right now, there are 13 thousand children in foster care in Missouri. Regional Director Melanie Ingle explains the need in our community. We have a great need for family, foster families and adoptive homes for kids who are part of sibling groups and our older youth. It's a big need in our community. Adoption related photos and letters were also contributed to a time capsule that will be opened in 50 years. More than 40 companies will be participating in a multi-industry hiring event today from noon until 3.30. It's geared toward helping military veterans. Representatives from more than 40 companies in southwest Missouri will be able to answer questions about job openings and in some cases conduct on-site job interviews.
Moving on to what's happening around the Ozarks now, the country music world lost an icon with the past of Roy, with the passing of Roy Clark, perhaps the best known as the star of the show Hee Haw. Clark passed away at 85 yesterday due to complications from pneumonia at his home in Tulsa. Our Jesse Inman spoke to one of his longtime friends in Branson, who reflected on the life of the country music pioneer. He's the best entertainer of all times. High praise from Buck Trent, who has been up and down the road with some of country music's legends. But Trent says from the day he met Roy Clark back in 1962, he just knew. At that time, Trent was performing with Porter Wagner. We're at Kansas City, and they put Roy on first, and he was killing the people. So I run and got Porter, and I said, Porter, <laughs> I said, come here quick. I said, there's a little fat boy up there killing these people. From then on, it was one achievement after the next. Las Vegas, we would do three weeks at a time, two shows a night. We played for the president, President Ford, the first country artist to go to Russia. Then the Grand Ole Opry, oh yeah. Of course, the Hee Haw show was great. Right here, this, yeah, this was at Hee Haw, the Hee Haw reunion. Trent says Clark's knack for comedy made him a natural fit for the skit show, and it's a trait he never lost. They called me about a week, week and a half ago. Said, Buck, Roy's asking for you. Trent made the trip to Tulsa to say goodbye. And so he's, he's trying to talk, you know, and he said, little fat boy, little fat boy. Yeah. He remembered that story, and that's been how long ago? In the 60s, early 60s. I'm just glad I went and seen him. We'll just uh, meet again someday. In Branson, Jesse Inman, Ozarks First. Very sweet to see you there. And uh, we were going to move on here on Daybreak. A lot more coming up still ahead. The FDA is coming after menthol cigarettes. We'll explain as we continue this morning. From Color 10, Ozarks First, Lauren Barnes. Joe Morano, and weather with meteorologist Alisa Rafa. This is Cutter 10 News Daybreak.